this is not a professional cleaning this is not a professional camera show this is uh i found some cool ass shit and i'm gonna show y'all show okay so i am back with another video and so as you can see in this video i am doing a review on this cool this cool 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 polaroid that i got from the thrift store for five dollars and so i am so excited i'm so excited and this is how the whole thing looks so surprisingly i really forgot how i'm supposed to put this in i know that i'm supposed to put this in like slide it in there and then take this little piece off of the bottom or whatever but i'm gonna have to come back to you guys because i have to watch a video i'm sorry that's not nice is it okay i'll be back okay so i have two phones i forgot <laughs> I also put in 600 Polaroid film and there's a nifty little video. See, everything's on YouTube. Look at me YouTubing while filming a YouTube. The man said we gonna put it in like this. So we gonna put it in, find a hole. All right. You gonna put it in like this. Uh oh, it just. I did it wrong. I wasn't supposed to. See, this is why y'all watch me because I be doing the stuff wrong. Briggity, 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 wrong. It took a picture. You weren't supposed to do that. This is how it's coming out. <laughs> this is how I'm rocking. All right, now I will take it back. I will take it back. Color photo should be shielded from light for six minutes. First six minutes. Shielded from light? Don't touch that. Don't touch that. Ain't no light out here. Mm hmm? Okay, so I am back with you guys and um, I wanted to show you guys, this is the camera that I just got through using. It's closed up right now because I don't want to accidentally, accidentally shoot my film. What the crap, y'all? Okay. So the camera that I was telling I was telling y'all about, this is the one that I bought at first, and it was five dollars too. So I will be doing another video on my cameras, and I will compare the cameras the next time, and once I get everything for this one. So yeah, I'm super excited about this camera. All right, so this is the first one that I did. The second one that I did is the one we're standing up, and this is how it came out. That's so nice. That is so nice. I'm so happy. This is the second one. Look. So on this one, okay. First of all, let me go back. On this one, I turn. We turn the exposure up higher so it could be brighter and so i think this is why this one came up a little brighter so you can actually see it's still fuzzy but this one i turned the exposure down so that i could get some nice aesthetic pics like this one just looks like a, like an old photo like i took this in the 90s but this one this is the aesthetics baby 
So I will be taking more pictures and I will be doing more camera reviews and showing you guys like these old cameras and how they work and how easy it is literally to take a picture with them and just how much genuine generic fun you can have versus like doing something on your phone or doing something that's super tech techy and modern even though these cameras are like really techy for their time but still just enjoying the vintage life and the smaller things in life things that don't have like an extreme monetary value just enjoying your life and the small things because that's what it's all about if you have some other things that I did not answer that you would like for me to answer, just leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.